Hey, what's up guys, Dr. Jeff and Megan, and today is myrrh, a very sexy, sultry, bitter, sweet, woodsy, herbaceous, yummy, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful oil. It's one of the oils on our nightstand at all times. Love it. Which we'll tell you about in a second. But <laughs> historically, myrrh was used to treat leprosy and syphilis. Uh, they used it in embalming in ancient Egypt. It was used as an embalming fluid. Cool. And then lastly, they would diffuse myrrh incense during religious rituals and ceremonies so historically a very very big oil of our past and then in the bible if you guys have heard of song of solomon king solomon wrote this book it's a small book in the bible there's just a few chapters in the book but obviously this book is all about love passion like us like us <laughs> and in that book king solomon references myrrh about nine different times. So again, why we like to have it on our nightstand. nightstand. Mm. <laughs> Two studies that I wanna mention really quick. A 2000 study looked at the molecule elamine, which is a molecule found in myrrh, and elamine compared to chemotherapy in this study showed an increased survival time and a decreased tumor size for patients with malignant brain cancer and tumors. So a very good oil That's for that amazing. use. And then the most recent study was a May 2017 study that looked at myrrh and a few of the molecules in the oil that were very protective to our epithelial lining, which is the first layer of cells in our intestines. So it's very protective for our intestines. So this oil can be used both topically and internally for any type of digestion intestinal disorder. Speaking of topically, Myrrh is one of the beauty secret essential oils. If you guys start adding myrrh to your daily skincare routine, it is going to promote healthier, younger looking skin mm -hmm. by hydrating your skin. It's super hydrating. I love, 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 love using myrrh on my cuticles. So we're going to post a recipe for you guys. It's like a cuticle cream. It's beeswax, shea butter, fractionated coconut oil, and myrrh. That's it. Super easy and simple. Myrrh, like Jeff said, is kind of like a thicker oil. So we have a trick. We use a topper, a dropper on the top and we keep it on the whole time. You just unscrew it and simply you just can drop it out instead of waiting there forever for it to come out, come out. We do this with patchouli. We do this with vetiver. vetiver. Um, we do this with all the other oils. So it's super easy. Three drops, therapeutic dose and you're done. You can also use that cream or just myrrh alone in any dry spots of your area. So it's so good for your skin. Elbows, mm -hmm. heels, calluses on your feet, calluses on your hands, any area you can think of that needs hydration, put myrrh essential oil on it. Yeah, we were talking the other day, Megan, teaching her yoga classes, sees everybody's feet. And she was mentioning <laughs> oh, that so many people have cracked skin on their heels and dried feet. Dried heels, I feel and, so bad for them. Yeah, so for dried heels, myrrh, with a little bit of fractionated coconut oil is going to be very hydrating to getting your skin back. Yeah, it's awesome. And the major, the major molecule that does this is an, a molecule called curzarin. And this molecule, when used topically for your face or skin, mm -hmm. reduces the appearance of fine lines and blemishes. And this molecule synthetically is added to a lot of the luxurious high-end skincare lines for that specific purpose. Yeah, the hydration right away, fine lines, wrinkles. And then diffusing this oil is amazing. Mm. One of my favorite, <laughs> just, so this is just kind of for fun, but one of my favorite things to diffuse with myrrh is wintergreen and it smells like a root beer float. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want the root beer float aroma in your home without the sugar and toxins of a root beer float, then just diffuse about six drops of wintergreen and six drops of myrrh. And then the aromatic influence is going to be, myrrh is very balancing, grounding, and calming for our body and our emotions. So a great oil to diffuse when you're feeling stressed out or worn out. And then uh, if when you do the root beer float blend mm -hmm. and you add wintergreen to it, wintergreen is very energizing. So just again, a little fun fact for you, some fun to have diffusing. Amen. Amen. Awesome, guys. Comments below on how you love to use myrrh. And we appreciate you all. And thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. And we'll talk to you guys soon.